Hello and welcome to Excel video 255. We're done with cell references now. We're going to go back to some of the basics on our uh, basic home tab. Before we get started, I'm working with an orthopedic group, pulling information out of their PM system to help them see when surgery schedules change. The PM system knows when the surgery is scheduled, when that changes, can we download that information and then adjust our schedule accordingly and staff the place the way we want to. Those are the kind of questions we're working on for the orthopedic group when you're ready to pull information out of your PM system. Let's talk. I want to play with the format menu today we, with some kind of detours to talk a little bit about cell references and the tabs and some of the other things we've talked about. The format menu has a lot of things that are other places. There are four ways to do everything in Excel and most of the stuff that's here, there are other places to do it and to be honest Generally, I do it the other places, but I wanted to walk through this menu just for an Excel video, show you a few tricks that may be helpful. You can change the row height or auto fit row height from here, or change the column width or auto fit the column width from here. But when I want to do it, if this is a long cell and I want column B to extend, I can either drag like this, or I can just double click this line between column B and column C. I'll see how my cursor changes to that two way arrow guy. When I double click, it automatically looks down my column and says, oh, here's the, the widest cell. I'm going to make the column with that. You can do the same thing by either dragging row height or double clicking row height for tall rows that way, and that works as well. So for me, the drag and the double click thing are faster than these options here, but if you want them, they're there. The default width may be helpful for you. What you can do with the default width is go through and say how many how wide, maybe I'll say it that way, how wide do I want my standard column to be? And you can change it there. The hide and unhide tricks that are there to hide rows and columns and things like that are to unhide. If I want to hide this insert and delete sheet, I'm just going to right click and hide. And then if I want to unhide, I can, it'll just show me, hey, there's the sheet I want. If I want, now it's unhidden. If I want to hide column E, typically I'll hide it and then unhide and get it back. Would it work from the hide and unhide menu? Yeah, yeah it would. I just typically do it another place. Same thing with organizing sheets. If I wanted to rename a sheet, typically what I'll do is I'll right click and rename and say this is a test. I can right click and change the tab color as well and notice the protect sheet option that is down here, all of these kind of options, move and copy sheet is, from, is a right click. Most of these are other places. In fact, the format cells menu that you'll see there, it's the same format cells window that you'll see here. So again, do I, I don't spend a ton of time with the format menu here, but I wanted to show you, hey, here's several other ways to do things in Excel, like anything in Excel, there's four ways to do it. If any of those shortcuts are helpful for you, as you're looking for something, say, oh, you know what, it's easier for me to remember the tab colors here than on the tab, or it's easier for me to do the column widths or renaming the sheet or whatever. That's where you'll find it. There are a bunch more things that we can do in this area, this editing section of the Home tab, and that's where we'll be next. Thanks for watching.